Now, brother, not in Christ, back at you with this word. It's the Bible. We're here with the Bible. We're going to pump up this word like we ought to. The Lord gave us this word, and it's for us, and we're going to blow it out. We out here today on the green, New Haven Green, downtown New Haven. They got some, uh, 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 they always got something going on down here on the green, man. They always try to blow somebody out there like they don't think it's happening. They got some madness going on there, but that's supposed to be a real church thing, a religious vibration. Well, they've been playing a lot of music, a lot of songs, a lot of garbage, all kind of stuff. You know what I mean? All the madness, you know what I'm saying? You can hear it, right? The fact of the matter is just that the Lord gonna blow that up with this word. We approved the third chapter, man. We was dealing with this last week. The third chapter, Peru. And the situation is, man, why are we in America? Why are we in America? And why are we dying in America? What's going on, man? Everybody says it's all right. They're happy with America. They like America. They love America. They say it's the best place in the world to live. They say they don't want to live no place else but America. But why are you dying here? Why are you dying in a land that don't love you? But you love the land. Give me a, a, a three days from a, pick it up from a five. Baruch three and five, right? Remember that not the iniquities of our forefathers, but think upon the power of thy name. Baruch three and five, right? Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, right? But think upon thy power and thy name. Yeah, don't remember the wickedness of our Now, they don't remember the wickedness that our forefathers did. Don't remember the wickedness that my father did or my grandfather did or his, my great-grandfather. And we beg the Lord to forgive my wickedness. But the prayer is that we know why we're here. We're here because, we're here because of our, our forefathers. That's why we're in America. There's a purpose in how we get out. Show what you got, huh? The root. Three and, three and six. Come on. For thou art Lord our power, right? And thee, O oh Lord, will we pray. That's who we're gonna pray. If you praise the Lord, we don't pray to nobody else in the earth. We in America, we're not giving it up for nobody but the most high. In the spirit of Christ, right? Read on. And for this cause, thou hast put thy fear in our hearts. The Lord put our fear, he put his fear in our hearts, man. He put his fear in our minds so we can recognize him. So we can be locked in, so we can dial into the most high power. Why? Because the fear of the Lord is where it's at. This whole vibration, give me 28, 28, Joe. We're gonna bring it out again. We're gonna bring it out again, time or two, because this whole vibration is about the fear from on high. The fear of the Lord. Where's your fear at, man? Who do you fear? You fear man who tell you do this and don't do that? Or do you fear the Lord who said do this and don't do that? What are you doing in the earth? What are you doing in America? Show me that out. 28, 28. Joe, right? Joe, 28, 28. Right? At the reign of Father. Or who have begotten the drops of dew? All right, all right, all right. Job 28 and 28. Right. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. That's wisdom. The fear of the Lord, that's wisdom. The fear of the Heavenly Father, that's wisdom. Where's your fear at, man? Where's your fear at? The fear of the Lord, that's wisdom, come on. And to depart from evil is understanding. And to depart from evil is understanding. To depart from evil is understanding. Give me Proverbs 9 and 10. Show me that, huh? The root 3 and 7. Come on. For this cause, thou hast put thy fear in our hearts. The most I put his fear in our hearts, man. He put his fear in our brains, in our minds. So we don't forget the Lord. So when we walk around the street, walk around uh, in, uh, in New Haven, amongst our brothers and sisters, we don't act like everything is cool. Everything is all right. We don't fake it for everybody in the earth and act like, you know, this, this, this America is so lovely and treat us so swell. But yeah, on the other hand, we cried about Trayvon Martin. We cried what happened to Trayvon Martin, but yeah, we said we, we, we love America. Why are you here? Why are you here? Show me that, huh? Proverbs 9 and 10. Come on. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's what it said. That's what you need. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Come on. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. And the knowledge of the holy, that's understanding. To depart from evil is understanding. To depart from evil, stop doing wrong and do right. Yeah, everybody talk about it. They all got Bibles. But who's doing the right thing? Read it, huh? We're going to read right out of the Bible what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. That's how we're going to convict you, man. 
and we're going to justify everything we got to say. Check this out. We're group three and seven, right? For this cause that has put our fear in our hearts, right? To the intent that we should call upon our name. That we should call upon the Heavenly Father. We are going to call upon the so-called white man, the so-called Arab, the African. We are calling on these people, man. We are going to call upon the Lord, the Spirit of the heavens and the earth, that rule it all. Right? Read all that. And praise Him in our captivity. And we are praise Him while we're in New Haven, while we're in America, in our captivity. Yeah, our brothers and sisters, they forgot about it, man. Act like New Haven, while America is for them, created just for them, what they love. This is what it's all about. I'm going to show you that, man. You're still in slavery. You're still in slavery. Give me that 2860 through the me for the record. You're still a slave. Right? We know that. Show me that. This is Baruch 3 and 7. Everybody laid out all over America, man. All over America. Lay out all over America. And they protest this. And they protest that. They protest this. They protest Trayvon Martin. They protest, uh, excuse me, sir. Yusuf Hawkins. They protest all the Puffers. Having a Weaver. Give me some. They're protesting our guns at the Sandy Hook. Protest guns. Abortion rights. Abortion rights, civil rights. They pro protest everything in America. Everybody in America got a problem with America, but yet they say they love America. They lie. Hypocrisy, man. It's one or the other. It's one or the other. You love America or you don't. America's playing for you or they're not. America's true or they are lying. I know they've been burning us when the guys over here. Show them what you got, Oscar. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Yeah, they burned us back in this day. They burned it when it came to this, really. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. This is Moses talking to the nation of Israel, to the whole nation of Israel, the whole 12 tribes of Israel. Moses is addressing them. And he said, The Lord, it's the Lord. The Lord going to bring you to Egypt again with ships. By ships, come on. By the way, we're up, I spake unto thee. The Middle Passage from Africa to the Middle, to, to, uh, to, to, to the West Indies, to America. The Middle Passage, read it. Thou shalt see it no more again. You're not gonna see your homeland no more, read it. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. And nobody's gonna save you, man. You sold to your enemies for slave men and slave women. And how you getting now? You're still here in the linear captivity, read it again, huh? A roof. We accept it. Give me for this cause that has put thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name. That we should call upon the Heavenly Father. And the praise thee in our captivity. And praise the Lord in our captivity. The most I say put the fear in our hearts. Give me this. Give me a hold that. Give me Hebrews 4 and 12. Show what you got, huh? Ephesians 4 and 17. Check this out. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not, a, walk not as other Gentiles walk in vanity of their mind. Don't walk as the other Gentiles, man. Don't walk as the other nations in the vanity of their minds. Listen to that, what's the vanity of their mind? They believe that America is salvation. Like America is the end all. Like I'm, I'm living the life because I'm in America. That's all I need to do is get to America and live. And now I made it. And that's not the case. When you talk about all the protests we just ran down, I mean, America's not that good. Not for Trayvon Martin or his family. Not for those type of cats. This is not that place. This is that boy, they just have all these uh, cities for the 1%, 1% this, 1% that. Everybody, up, all big up around America. And they cry about what we got to say. And we ain't touch nobody. Punching, punching the hate groups in America. The top 10, and see who come up. Esau, 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 Moab. Is it called? Esau, Esau, Esau. They ain't America. They ain't America. What are you gonna touch? I don't say that about what we say. We read it out of the Bible, right? Check it out, huh? Ephesians 4 and 18. Right. Having the understanding, having the understanding. Right. Ephesians 4 and 17. Come on. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not, walk not as other Gentiles. Walk in the vanity of their mind. Don't walk around like the Africans in the vanity of their mind. Don't walk around like the Persians in the vanity of their mind. Don't walk around like the Chinaman in the vanity of their mind. Everybody think that the earth is just going to go on continuously. Everybody feel like the Lord. Give me uh, Isaiah 45, 45. What would you got? Give me 45 and 5. And they feel like, you know, America, the world is just to live and die in. 
I mean, that, that, that's crazy. Like the Lord created the earth for you coming to the earth and, and, and be a murderer, a robber, a liar all your whole life, and that's all it takes. All you do is die and go home. That's it. It's not the case, man. That's a vain thought. Don't be so the Israelites, so-called Negroes, West Indians, Puerto Ricans, don't be like the other Gentiles walking around in the vanity of their minds. Talking about, this is the life, this is it. And I don't have to pray nobody. I can choose any religion I want. I can be anything I want to be. That's what they told me. Right. You walk around with some mad, some madness in your head, Zach. Right? Show, show me what you got, out. Huh? Ephesians 4 and 17. Right. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord. Right. That ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. Right. Having the understanding of dark, uh, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of the Heavenly Father. Right. Through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Because the blindness of their mind. They're being alienated, alienated from the righteous of the most time. Now you feel like you can live a life in America, you can, you can live a life in the earth, and you don't need the Lord. How I have to go to church, how I have to pray. Hold that, give me, where's my Psalm 13.1? Read it with you. All right, read it, Come on. Ephesians 4.19. Come on. Who being past feeling. They past feeling. They past all sensitivity. They got devils on them. They, 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 they only want to feel it. They say, I, I, I can't go. They pass all, 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 all sensitivity. Spirituality is out of their zone now. They're very carnal. Wicked as can be. Check this out. <coughs> Who be in past feelings, right. having given themselves over unto lasciviousness, right. to work all uncleanness, all uncleanness, with greediness. With greediness. So all lasciviousness is excessive lust and, and madness. They done, they, done, they, done, they done got themselves involved in some of the freakiest, nastiest things in the earth, and now they pass all feeling. Now you can't feel, now you don't care about nothing. Now you're a devil. Now you're a devil to heart. Now you're a devil to heart. Hold that, spin off that, give me 44. In Psalms, 44. 44, read it for 15, show me that, huh? I say a 45 and 5. Come on. I say I'm 45 and 5. Right. I'm the Lord, but there's none else. There's nobody else, man. Heavenly Father is the most high. There's nobody else. Check this out. There's no power besides me. You talk to the Chinaman if you want, and they talk about Buddha. You go to the Arab, and they talk about Allah. All that garbage these people talk about, all these other powers, they are idols, man. Those are idols. Idol worship. We know that. I, I say a 45 and 5, right. I'm the Lord, but there is none else. Nobody else but the Heavenly Father in the heavens, man. There's no Allah, there's no Buddha, there's nobody else, right? We know that. There's no power besides me. Come on. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. Right. That they may know from the rising of the sun and, and from the west that there is none besides me. There's none but the Heavenly Father. Our power. He represents you so-called Negroes, man. You West Indians, you Puerto Ricans. That's your power, read on that. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Right. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I the Lord to all these things. You got all the power, man. There's no such thing as Buddha. Our laws are fake. All that stuff is garbage, man. Run around chasing the so-called China man or the so-called white man and act like they know which way is up. They can't figure it out. They ain't up confused and lost, and you run behind them. Can you believe that? Color your hair like they color their hair. You you you, you get operation. You get you want to look like them. Hold uh, 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 uh. hold that. Give me second back. It's four seventeen. Show me that. Fifteen down. Yeah. Did we go to start? Forty four. <laughs> Psalms forty four and fifteen. Right. My confusion is continually before me, uh -huh. and the shame of my face hath covered me. For the voice of him that that reproacheth and blasphemeth by reason of, by reason of the enemy and avenger. Right. All this has come upon us. All this has come upon us, man. And now we are hear these jokers talking against the Most High. Talk about us, they get, they make, we're a reproach. The Lord did it to us, man. We are blaming nobody else, but we're in the midst of it. We are blaming the so-called white man. We are blaming the so-called Africans or the China man, but we're right here and we all play a part. 
Check this out, read on that. All this has come upon us, yet have we not for forgotten thee. But we didn't forget the most high. We right here, because the Lord has put his fear in our hearts, man. We didn't forget the Heavenly Father. We right here. He raised us up to call on him. Right, read it. All this has come upon us, yet have we not forgotten thee. Right. Neither have we dealt falsely in thy covenant. We're not dealt falsely in the Lord's covenant, man, in his promise. Right, read on that. Our heart is not turned back. Right. Neither have our steps declined from thy way. Yeah, our minds ain't turned back since we've been born again. Since we've been born again. We've been locked in, man. We never went back. We've been locked in. The Lord got us locked in, established. Right, read on that. Though thou hast broken us in the place of dragons. Check this out, man. Check this verse out. Though the Lord has broken us, has broken us in the place of dragons. He got us all busted up, man. We got brothers that don't want to be brothers no more. Sisters that hate their own people. Hate each other. The Lord, thou has broken us in the place of dragons. And let's not misunderstand what a dragon is, right? Hold that verse, give me 21. Hold it, what else you got? We're gonna come back to that. Let's go. Give me 21. Hold that son. Show me what you got. Second Maccabees 4:15. Second Maccabees 4:15. Check this out, man. This is a time during the Greek, the Greek occupation. The Greek captivity. When the Olympics started. When the Olympics started in the earth, and everybody started going to these world games. So we had, huh? Second Maccabees 4.15. Come on. Not setting by the honors of their fathers. Yes, yes. So us, we, because our fathers didn't follow this stuff here, man. They ain't trying to compete to be the, the fastest runner in the earth, or, 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 or the biggest jumper, or whatever, or the, or the strongest man in the earth. We didn't compete in all that carnal vibration. All those worldly affairs. We're in it, but that's not our life. Right, we know that. We're in the world, but our life is not about the world. Come on now. Not setting by the honor of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecians, best of all. They love, we, the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Puerto Ricans. They love the glory of the Grecians, best of all. They want honey blonde hair. They want straight hair. They want to be just like the so-called white man. They want to live like he live. They want to freak like he a freak. They want to marry him. They want to lay with him, him and his woman. They want to mix with them and the Lord said, don't do that. They want to eat what he eat. He eat abominable food, so they want to eat it. They say they like caviar. Where you get that from? Who you following eating that? Right, read on that. Second Maccabees 4 and 16. Come on. By reason where of sore calamity came a problem. That's why you got problems. That's why we got troubles in the earth because we're not set by the honors of our fathers, man. Sore calamities came upon us. That's why we got troubles, man. Because we're not set by the honors of our fathers, read on. For they had them to be their enemies and avengers whose custom they followed so earnestly. Read that verse again, all right? The one you just read. <laughs> Second Maccabees 4, 16. Come on. By reason whereof sore calamity came upon them. So sore calamity, sore troubles, sore problems, sore hardship came upon those so-called Negroes West Indians and Puerto Ricans, why? But they had them to be their enemies and avengers whose custom they followed so earnestly. Because the people that we follow, the people that we want to be like, the people who we, who, we, who we run to judge, they are avengers and they are our enemies, man. They're against us and they kill us when they get a shot. They take us out, they lie to us, they abuse us, man. They use us, men and women, get met by our enemies. And we submit ourselves to them. Why? Check this out again. Read that verse. Read it. 21. Yes. Revelation 21 and 1. 20. 20. Revelation 20 and 1. Right. And I saw an angel come down from heaven. Come on. Having the key of the bottomless pit. Right. And a great chain in, in his hand. Check this out. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. Hold that. He laid hold. On the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan. He got four names. He got four names. We didn't get out. Revelation 20 and 2. Right, 21. And 20 and 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit. Right. And a great chain in his hand. Right. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. And Satan. 
That's his name. Go ahead. And bound him a thousand years. That's his name. The dragon, devil, serpent, Satan. He got four names for the devil. Check this out. Bring it back to uh, Psalm 44, man. 19, is it? Go on, Psalms 44 and 19. Check this out. Thou hast sore broken us in the place of dragons. So the most has sore broken us in the place of devils, man. We're in the place of devils. We live in America with a bunch of devils, man. They're all devils because they do devilish things. They follow the devil, they don't want to be called a devil. If you follow evil ways, who are you? What are you? You have to be a devil. Read that again, all right? Psalms 44 and 19. Thou hast sore broken us in the place of dragons and covered us with the shadow of death. And covered us with the shadow of death. The most high covered us with the shadow of death, man. And now everybody, all the white brothers in life, and you see the white man can save me, all the Africans can save me. You can do anything except come to the Lord. You can do anything except come back to the Lord and save your life. Hold that, read it. Revelation 18 and 1. Come on. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, right. having great power, and the earth was lighted with his glory. Right. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen. America, America the great is fallen. It's coming down. Read on. It's fallen. And it's become the habitation of devils. Has become the habitation of devils. And the hall of every foul spirit. Right. And the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. What, that don't make sense? That don't add up to you? You gonna say it's down America? But what place in the earth don't have devils in it? What place in the earth is not, is not packed with madness and dirt sorcery and witchcraft and devils? America got it big time. Abominable acts right here in America doing a Babylon. Hold that, read on that. Psalms 44, 19. Come on. Though thou hast, thou hast sore broken us in the place of dragons. In the place of dragons. Where all the devils live at. All the devils live in America. They all, the only devils live in America. They play the whore, they drink and get drunk all day, or, or they, they steal, they rob, or they lie, and they murder, and they rape. That's the devil inside. That's what you do when you're a devil. You lie all day, every day. All you do is lie. You're a liar, because you're a devil. That's how it goes. Check it out. We live with devils in America, man. But nobody want to bring it out. Nobody want to address the issue. Man, point out the devil and make a separation, man. Get away from the devils, man. Separate yourself from the devils. Right? Read on that. Though thou hast sore broken us in the place of dragons. They don't want to mention it's a place of dragons, man. A place of devils in America. Ain't nothing but devils around here. Dragons. Right? One more time. Though thou hast sore broken us in the place of dragons. Right. And covered us with the shadow of death. With the shadow of death. Read on. If we have forgot the name of our power, or stretched out our hand to serve a strange power. Hear what the most I say? Shall not the Heavenly Father search us out? Ain't he gonna search that out? For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Right. Yea, for they are, for thy sake are we killed all, all the day long. All the day long. He hath covered us here in the place of dragons, man, and covered us with the shadow of death. Give me that Psalm 23 and 4, right? Go ahead, good morning. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. That's what we are, man. They don't care about it. We're expendable. We're expendable. It's just a nigga. We're expendable. Call them nigga. <laughs> call them spick. Call them wetback. And we don't care about them. You understand? They don't care about themselves. If they don't care about themselves, how should we care about them? So-called white man, he see that we don't care about ourselves. We kill each other all day, every day for sneakers, shoes, a money chain, headphones, <laughs> you know what I mean? They got you know, smartphones, a, 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 a Israelite, a brother, a so-called Negro. He'll kill another brother, an Israelite, a so-called Negro for his cell phone. My man come, he come from Jamaican brother, say, you know what I mean? He said, we're talking about the phone, the smartphone is there. He said, listen, you pull it out, Jamaican is take it out of your hand, so yeah, think me that, man. Just walk away. <laughs> Just rob me. If you don't have no love for your brother, who are you? If you don't love your own brother in the earth, who are you but a devil? You gotta be a devil, man. All you gotta do now is admit it, and maybe you can get out of that. All you can do is say, admit it, man. Yeah, I've been doing some devilish things. I need to stop being like a devil. Check this out, right? 
Nobody want to act like we, we can't. Or the earth don't define right and wrong no more. The earth don't define good and evil. The earth don't define bad or good. It's not, it's still, they still apply. They do still apply. Everybody want to say, yeah, I try to treat my children in a good way. But where's the good way at? Where's the good way at? Bring it back to Bruce. Show me that. Right? Where's the good way at? Be on that. Come on. Hold that. Give me the proof. Give me the sound. 23 and 4. Baruch. Baruch 3 and 7. Come on. And for this cause, that has put that fear. So we can call upon them while we're in the land of our slavery. We're in the land where they took us captives. For our forefathers, our forefathers were wicked, man. They did evil things. They turned their back on the Lord. And the Lord said, I'm going to burn your children, man. I'm going to make another people rule them, man. And they're going to lose their minds. They're not even going to know who they are. I'm going to burn them up. Check this out, right? Read on, huh? To the intent that we should call upon them. Again, the verse, huh? Baruch 3 and 7. This cause has put thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our, cap in our captivity. And praise the Lord while we're slaves. While we're slaves. Praise the Lord while we're slaves. While we're right here in America. Right in America where we were slaves. We're children of slaves. And right now we're going to praise the Lord. We're not going out of America. We get them out of this due to them. We don't break the laws. We are, we, we're not criminals in America. We are here right here legally. We're not criminals. We're not no, 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 we're not, we're not even out of jail and all that. We're not drunkards. We're not wicked. We don't steal and rob none of those things, man. We, we lift up this word. And the most I said, we're not going to honor the wicked. We're not going to honor the evil men. Show me that, huh? Go ahead, read it. Baruch 3 and 7. And for this cause, thou hast put thy fear in our hearts. Come on. To the intent that we should call upon thy name. We praise thee in our captivity, but we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before thee. When we call to mind all the wickedness of our forefathers that sinned before the Most High. Here's the amazing thing. Here's the amazing thing, right? People in the earth today, they commit evil acts, and they act like they're the first one to do it, like it's brand new. There's no new evils. The only evils that you do today was done yesterday in all other kingdoms, man, and people died for that. Kingdoms were lost for that. America's done. Too bloody the land. It's a wicked land. Now is the time to escape. Get into the Lord's zone, get your head out of America, and get your word, get your head into this word. Read on. Baruch, Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, we are the yet this day in our captivity. We're yet this day in our captivity, man. You tell us we're not. We're right here today in our captivity. They cry about Trayvon Martin. Stand your ground. Kill the dead. But you kill every day you kill Trayvon Martin. Every day you kill Trayvon Martin. You kill your own brother. You step on your... I'm sorry, brother. Let's shoot me. Don't shoot me, brother. You step on your brother's shoe. You kill every day. Hypocrites, man. Stone hypocrites. But you marching for Trayvon. You marching. We are yet this day in our captivity. Check it out, man. Behold. Behold. Think about it. Meditate upon it, man. Meditate upon it. See it out. We are yet this day in our captivity. Today, 2013, August. Are we still slaves? You feel like it? You feel like it? It don't even matter, man, because it's so evil and so wicked. Everybody just running around doing what they want to do. It's not about that, it's about today and the evil that you do. Right, show me your lot. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. In a captive mindset, if you think you should be evil, to get along. If you think you gotta do the wicked things of America to live, then you're still a slave. You're still captive. This Christ can make you free, man. Get you out of that. Spiritually. Spiritual. It's a spiritual group, man. It's not about what, what I look like. Or what, you know what I mean? It's not about what he look like or what he look like. It's about what you do and don't do. 
what you say and what you do after, but word and deed. Christ was mighty in word and deed. Right, read on that. Baruch 3 and 8, come on. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Today, we're still locked up. We're still in captivity. They got us, man. This guy, Bob Marley, I'm not even a fan of it, but he says some cool one in his records. Oh, Lord, it must be illiteracy. Because on the machine, it's only machines that make money. Slave driver, right, slave driver. The table is turned. Go get your fire, because you have been burnt. Slave, it flips over. What's the only man to do with that Chanel so reap? What's the man saw that Chanel so reap is coming back at you? No big thing, man. Listen here, man. That's not the, we're not in the vengeance. We don't, the Lord take care of vengeance. But whichever way the Lord say he's going to do, we're going to break it down, make sure you understand. The Lord's coming for you. He's coming for the devils in America. All over the earth, but it's coming for you, man. Understand that. Read on that. Baruch 3 and 8. Come on. Behold, we are yet to stay in our captivity. Come on. But thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payment. Right, the subject, we subject to payment. Reproach. We are, we are, excuse me. Behold, we are this day in our captivity where thou hast guided us for a reproach. Right. And a curse and to be subject to payment. A reproach and curse and we subject to payment. We're reproach and call us niggas and spicks and wet packs and they call us young worthless, African American. That's, that's the worst curse word out of Black. They call us black. Nobody's black. Well, they call us black. I got black and white hair. I'm not black. I don't know, I don't know no black people. We got different shades of brown. But they call us all these reproachful words. Reproach, reproach. That's what we are today in America. They say them blacks and them African Americans, them niggas. That's what we are today in America. Give me Psalm 83. Give me Psalm 83, man. Read it from the top. Read all that. Baruch 3 and 8, come on. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, right. where thou hast guided us for a reproach and a curse to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our power. Right, come on. Hear, Israel, the commandments of life. Yo, hear the commandments of life, man. Hear what it takes to live and not die. Hear what it takes for the Lord to bless you, man, and not cast you off. Hear the commandments of life. Right, read on that. Give ear to understand wisdom. To understand wisdom, man. That's where it's at. Nobody's preaching that, though. We see you jokes on YouTube, man. Who's that? Israel United in Christ. Uh, give me some. Your boy? Say that. Your boy out south, Tony, 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 uh, Tony Smith. All the jokers, man. I see GJA or whoever they are. They are nobody's bringing out wisdom, man. You know why they're not bringing out wisdom? Because they're hypocrites, man. They stone hypocrite. You can't be a hypocrite and preach this word and the Lord lift you up. If you're a hypocrite against this word, the Lord going to cast you down. He's going to expose you. And you're going to be doing hypocritical things and you're not even going to know it. You're not even gonna know you're a hypocrite, but you are. You're a hypocrite. Show them what you got, huh? Baruch, three and ten. Right? How happened it in Israel that thou art in thy enemy's land? Yeah, how happened it? How, how did you get here, man? Why are you here in America, and how did it happen? What is the Lord's plan for you? Right, read on. How happened it in Israel that thou art in thy enemy's land? Right? That thou waxing old in a strange country. That you wax old in America. That you get old in America, read on. That thou art defiled with the dead. That we defile with the dead. They do all the evil stuff in America, man. They do all the evil stuff throughout. They eat evil. They, they, they all the acts of evil. They don't care nothing about the Lord's Sabbath or His laws. Or His righteousness, man. How do we get here in America? Why are we defiled with the dead? Right? We don't know. That thou art counted with them that go down into the grave. That you count it. We are counted with them that go down to the grave. We count with the brothers and sisters, all the men in the earth that don't care about life. That they expect to die and not live. They don't even want to live, man. The devils, we're in the place of dragons. We're in the place of dragons, man. And why? How? How happened it in Israel? How'd you get it, you so-called Negroes, Western and Puerto Ricans? What's the deal, right? We don't know. Excuse me. Uh, Baruch 3 and 12. Thou hast forsaken the following of wisdom. There it is. Come on. For if thou hadst walked in the way of the Most High, right. 
Y'all said it's at dwell in peace forever. We're dwell in peace forever. Show me that, huh? Psalms 83 and 1. Check this out. Keep not thou silence, O Heavenly Father. Right. Hold not thy peace. Right. And be not still, O power. Right. For lo, that enemies make a tumult. Right, the enemies make a tumult. We get a tumult. A uprising, a commotion against the Heavenly Father. The enemies of the Lord are raising themselves up against the most high power. Right, read on that. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Right. And they that hate thee have lifted up that have lift up the head. Yeah, they that hate the most high, they lifted up the head. Who's there? Check it out. They have taken crafty counsels against thy people. Yes. And consulted against thy hidden ones. What they do? They have, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Right that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So now they call us Puerto Ricans. Now they call us African Americans. Now they call us Mexicans. Now they call us Brazilians, uh, Peruvians, uh, uh, Chileans. They call us all these names here. All these slave names they got for us. All these slave islands and these slave lands. Why? So they can take the name of Israel and put it out in remembrance so we can forget our home. So if you get that, we're supposed to deal with wisdom. Christ is wisdom, right? Read on that. Psalms 83 and 5. Check this out. For they have consulted together with one consent. You could talk about the United Nations, man. The United Nations, they're all there with one consent. Read it. Therefore, they have consulted together with one consent. Right. They are confederate against thee. They're confederate. They're confederate against the Most High. They're all devils, man. They have no faith or no love for the Heavenly Father. None. Right? Read on that. The tabernacle of Edom. So go, white man. And the Ishmaelites. Come on, Arabs. Of Moab. Chinaman. And of the Hagarians. Africans. Gibeel <laughs> and Ammon. Right, and Amalek. The Philistines. So go, white man. Japanese. All the nations together at the UN. The Confederate. Question. Where's our representative? Where's our representative in the United Nations? They represent the nation of Israel. Where are they at? Oh, let's go back. They say we black people, or we the African American. Where's the African American representative in the UN? Or the black people? Where's he at? They represent us. How come they got UN, all the nations in there, but we have no representation? Who are we, man? Lord, show us all these on leave there. Give me Psalm 23, right? Because most I, give me, hold that, give me 4419 one more time, then bring it back here. Psalm 4419. The most I showed it, that give me, you give me Job, give me Job 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10 and uh, 20. <laughs> Job 10 and 20, huh? Read on, I'll show me that. Psalms 44 and 19. Right. Though thou hast sore broken us in the place of dragons and covered us with the shadow of death. Right. If we have forgotten the name of our power or stretched out our hands to, to a strange power, shall not the Heavenly Father search us out? Right. For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Right. The most I showed us that, man. He broke us right here in America. He's broken us right here in America, man. Broke us. Brothers and sisters copping out big time. Brothers and sisters don't care nothing about each other. They hate each other. They chase down the China man. They chase down the Arab, so-called white man. They don't care nothing about each other no more. We're broken, America, man. We got some MPE from my so-called Puerto Ricans. They hate the so-called Negroes. We broke up. We have no more love for each other, man. He broke us in the, in the place of dragons, in the place of devils, right? Show me that, huh? Bring back to one. Yes. Yes. Psalms 23 and 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Right. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. This is what you got to get your head into, man. You got to get your head out of the world and into the zone here so the Lord can guide you. The Lord can be with your soul. Check this out. For his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You don't fear no evil, man. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, 
they comfort me. Right. Thou preparedest a table before me right. in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Now, as Moses, I show you that the Lord prepared a table for us in the presence of our enemies. Right in the midst of Babylon, right here in America, the Lord going to raise us up. He's going to make us stand up. He's going to make us stand up for his word, and we're not going to lie. And we're going to live in it. And we're going to rise up so the Lord can bless us, man. He's going to bless us. Show me that out. Leave that. Come back to the fourth verse again. Psalms 23 and 4. Right. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. We're not going to fear no evil, man. Give me 66, 20. Right? Psalms. Right? Go ahead. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. But we got this word right here. The Lord brought us to us so this can comfort us. This can lead us. This can guide us when we need Captivities, first edges, first chapter. First chapter, one. Right, show me what you got. Psalm 66 and 1. Right. 66 and 20. 20, right. Blessed be the most high, which has not turned away my prayers, nor his mercy from me. Right. Blessed be the most high, which has not turned away my prayer. We would have dwelt in peace forever, man. The Lord said we would have dwelt in peace forever. If we walked with the Most High, if we hung out with the Lord, if we would have stayed with the Most High, we wouldn't be who we are today. But we didn't do that, so we're in America. So we are who we are today. Who are you today? Who are you? You don't even know who you are, right? Right. College graduates, PhD. You got all kinds of college graduates, they still call themselves black or African American. It don't add up. It don't match up, do it? We don't know. Show what you got. Yes. Baruch. Yes. Baruch. 3 and 14. Learn where is wisdom, where is strength, where is understanding. Right. That thou mayest know also where is let the things and the light, where is the light of the eyes and peace. We don't know. Where is like the days? Where is peace? Where is it at? Right? We know that. Who hath found out her place? And who hath come into her treasure? Yeah, wisdom, man. Check that out. Everybody in there is searching for wisdom. The breakdown, how it really goes. Which is the right way. So we as a people are whores in the earth. We as a people, now we check out the so-called white man's way, the Chinaman's way, so-called Chinaman's way, check out so-called Arab's way. We follow everybody's way. We don't realize our own way. Who are we and what do we have as a people? What's your nationality? You don't even know. Because African American is not a nation of people. That's like a joke. It's a joke, African American. How can you be African American, right? That's who I want. Now we got Now we got leaders in the earth. They call themselves our Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton organized 100 marches across America to protest Trayvon Martin. Hey, how Trayvon Martin got gunned down? What about all these other brothers getting gunned down, man? How many people gunned down in New Haven already? 20 something, right? And who killed them? Their own brothers killed them. White man didn't come. Don't join Zimmerman around here. <laughs> Don't join Zimmerman around here. They kill up all each other, and you marching for, for the white man. Hypocrisy at its max. You're a hypocrite at the biggest level, man. A big boy hypocrite. Show what you got, huh? Baruch, 3 and 16. Come on. Where are the princes of the heathen become? Yeah, where are the princes of the heathen become? 
Where are they, man? You found these devils, where are they at? Where did they take you to? Right, read on. And such as rule the beasts upon the earth. And such as rule beasts upon the earth, man. You got plenty of these jokers running around in America, acting like they're living their life. Because they're making money. They might be movie stars, singing stars, uh, 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 uh. Business does, rappers, they're making all kind of money, man. And who are they? Who are they? What are these people? What spirits are they? Right, we or not? So Baruch 3 and 17. <laughs> they that had their pastime with the balls of the ear, right? And they that hoarded up silver and gold, Come on. where men trust, and made no end of their getting, right? But they that wrote in silver and were so careful, and whose works are unsearchable. Come on. They are vanished. They are vanished. You've gone down to the grave, and others come up in their stead. That's all that happens, man. If you live a vain life, it is what it is. You live and then you die. You run around the earth. If you call yourself a, 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 a zookeeper, you run around the earth chasing animals. And that guy, you're doing something hot. And you get a TV deal, and now you're swimming in the ocean, and you, and you make your life about animals. You're hunters. <laughs> Right, then you get stung by a stingray and poop you out. Everybody feels sorry for you, right? Or you set, you set your life up in rap. Or somebody tells you you got a good voice and you're a singer. So you put your whole life into that. They got a uh, Beyonce. Uh, life story of Beyonce. Like, who cares, man? What did she do so, so magnificent? What did this punk Beyonce do, this whore do that's so great? She got to give a life story. And she always talk about, I love music. Oh, music has been my life. I do everything for music. It's a whore, a hypocrite, a stone whore, man. Whore that's up around the earth. They take off her clothes for everybody. They put on a big screen for everybody to see. They talk about she's a star. You got to be kidding me, man. Lord, they broke us in the place of dragons, man. We all busted up. Nobody don't know who they are or which way they should go. Show them what you got, huh? Now, who you call your leaders? Second. Hold on. Who they call leaders in the earth today? Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Is he a leader? <laughs> he's a, he's a, is he a leader? NCAACP. Who? NAACP. NAACP. Oh, wow. Their office is always empty. <laughs> so Jesse Jackson's on this guy. Yeah, Jesse Jackson the third or the junior. He and his woman doing a bid. Who's your leader? They sent them to jail for buying jewelry and money. I mean, clothes and stuff. Nonprofit. <laughs> Nonprofit hustle. <laughs> Jesse Jackson's son went to jail for hustling. Jackie, he, he, he wasn't as thick as his daddy. <laughs> his daddy got away. He got busted later on for a little extra marital stuff. But who are your leaders, man? The Lord didn't leave us out. The Lord didn't leave us lost. Check this out, we got leaders. We all got leaders. Second Ezra, one and 39. Right. Unto whom I will give for leaders, Abraham. Hold that, give it to me for my... Check this out, right? This is where we at, man. This is where we at, right? Yeah, 135, this is where we at. We're in America. We're in captive, captive state. We're our enemy's land. Then who do we look to? Who do we look to for help? Romans 13, 1, you know. Second Ezra, 1 and 35. Your houses will I give to a people that shall come. Right. Which not having heard of me, yet shall believe me. To whom I have showed no signs. The Lord has showed no signs, man. He shows no signs, we know. Yet, they should do that, I command them. Yet, we're going to do what the Lord said do. But the Lord didn't show us no signs. He didn't open up the Red Sea. He didn't open up the, he didn't, uh, 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 kill, open up the earth and take out jokers in the earth, in the desert. He didn't feed us with manna or none of that. He didn't give us no signs. But he said, we're going to honor him. Check this out. They have seen no prophets. We see no prophets, man. We got jokers right around in America talking about their prophets. They say they're prophets. <laughs> it's a joke. They say they're prophets. The prophets are over, man. The prophets got their name in this book. The prophecies 
are listed in the book. We, we, we deal with prophecy, but we, we prophesy, but we're not prophets, man. We're not claiming to be the prophets of the earth. We don't know. They have seen no prophets. They have seen no prophets. Right. Yet they should call their sins to remembrance. Yeah, we call our sins to remembrance, right, read on. And acknowledge them. And we acknowledge them. We acknowledge that we lived a wicked life. We acknowledge that the stuff we did was evil. And we cast it off. We cast it off. All the lies I told is outrageous, man. Cast that off. A liar is worse than a thief, man. You know what I mean? If that don't mean nothing to you, I guess you still lie. I guess you still lie. But a liar is worse than a thief, man. But they're both gonna have to structure the heritage, man. They're both gonna be destroyed. Right? Check it out, right? We we we, we acknowledge our sins, man, and we call them to remembrance. And we let everybody know we're not into that no more. We don't live that life no more. What are you allowed? Verse 37. Right? I take to witness the grace of the people to come, right? Whose little ones rejoice in gladness. Whose little ones, their children, the young ones, they rejoice in right works, in gladness, in holiness, in pure happiness, man. Sincere, right? Read it. No perversion. Right, read it. I take to witness the grace of the people to come. Right. Whose little ones rejoice in gladness. Come on. And though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they believe the things that I say. They believe it, man. We believe what the Lord said. We have to see the Lord with bodily eyes, man. It's a spiritual group. What's your spirit like, man? Your spirit, you got this type of spirit that uh, want to get tattoos all over your body? What does that make you? What does that put you at, man? Right now, we live in a shadow of death, man. We're right here in the land of darkness, man. In the shadow of death, and there's no light. Check this out. Verse 38, and now, brother, behold, what glory. And see the people that come from the east, to whom I will give for leaders, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Hosea. These are our leaders, man. We don't care about no, 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 no punch or no, no torture or no sharp thing. Oh, no, 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 no. All them jokes. Who are they? Eddie Long. Eddie Long. Uh, Obama, T.D. Jakes. All these Hollywood preachers, man. All these guys lie blatantly. They lie blatantly, man. Catch on the Bible and go dead against it. No brothers, brothers united, no. Israel united. Israel united in Christ. <laughs> Turn around. Israel united in Christ. Hypocrisy is big. I know they feel it real good. They Daniel 7. And uh Kanai, down in Florida. And uh Brock yeah, Shaw. The Brock Shaw. Yeah, they been split. The other guy down there with uh what's the guy? What I just say, went from Oklahoma. They went down there with uh Kanai. Happy I am. Happy I am. Happy I am. Call you up. Oh, you tattoo jokers? Well, we a tattoo hypocrisy, man. And you guys, you roll it up. Everybody roll it. Well, yet, everybody got the trim on. What is it? Trim or what? Oh, what do we got? Edge up. Everybody got the edge up on. Everybody got the edge up on. And you asking people about, do you got your fridges on? Where's your beard? And you ain't got nothing on your head. Hypocrisy at its max. Check it out, right? Where you at? Read that. Give me that uh, Matthew 23. Read it for the job, right? Also, give me that. You got that for Job? What you got? You finish that? Finish that. Second answer. 1 and 39. Unto whom I will give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Hosea, Amos, Micah, Joel, Obadiah, Obadiah, Jonas, Damn. This is big, man. This is big. The Lord gave us these brothers here for leaders, man. Isaiah, Jeremiah. Everybody in the earth named their people, named their children after these brothers, man. Talk about some Michael Jordan, all that garbage. All that Mike Tyson, all that madness. And they come out, oh, you a hater, you a hater. Yeah, right. Can't stand none of them devils, man. Okay, don't care about them. They pass their time in the earth with foolishness, with wickedness, man. And what, we supposed to confess them? Those are my brothers, they liars, man. I'll tell them to their face. All of them, man. Read all that, show me that. Uh, 
we passed out tickets, don't worry about it. We got to put a couple quarters in the middle. I tell whom I get it for leaders, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. Hosea, Amos, Micah, Joel, Elbadias, Jonas, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zacharias, Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. Angel of the Most High Power. Everybody got a Bible in their house. Everybody in all the world, they got Bibles. The Lord made sure they had a Bible. The Lord scattered us throughout the earth, and he put our book behind us. He read this book behind us. You all got one, man. You got the devils that read it, try like they know better than you. And it's your book, but you don't use it. Hypocrite. The Lord said you're a hypocrite. Check it out. Job 17 and 8, right? All right, men shall be astonished at this. Job 17 and 8, right? All right, men shall be astonished at this. Right. And the innocent shall stir up himself against the hypocrite. Check it out, man. Upright men. Upright men. Brothers and sisters, stand upright. They're going to be astonished at this, man. They're going to be astonished. They're going to say, wow, that's hot, man. Those brothers are hot. Those brothers are hot. How are they going to say? And the hypocrite, read it again. The upright man shall be astonished at this, and the innocent shall stir up himself against the hypocrite. And the innocent man is going to stir up himself against the hypocrite, man. We're going to call out all those hypocrites. We'll call every last hypocrite we know. Tony Smith, Creflo Dollar, Frederick Price, we'll call them all out. They're hypocrites, man. They're liars. But T.D. Jakes, and yeah, they're going to say, yeah, why are you talking about people?